Sorry that I had to record this in two parts. I accidentally hit stop instead of pause. But we were down in the examples in the notes. It said find each angle measure. So the angle is JML, so it's good to trace it. So J to M to L, and I'm going to label that angle X. Remember that angle intercepts this arc, and if you continue to trace the chords, okay, we also are looking at this arc. Okay, remember that X is the same as this angle right here as well. So that angle, when it's in the inside, in a little trick, this kind of looks like a plus sign. So when the angle intersects in the inside, or when the chords intersect in the inter of a circle and your angle's inside the circle, that x is the sum of the arcs divided by 2. So 70 plus 52 divided by 2. So that's 122 divided by 2, we get 21. So the measure of angle JML is 21 degrees. Number two, the measure of STR. So if we trace, STR is this angle here. I'm going to call this X again. Finish tracing the chord. It stops here at U, stops here at Q. So U to Q is this arc. And X, it's the same theorem. I'll just write it this way. Half the sum of 107 and 99. So adding first 107.99, we get 206, and half of that, we get 103. So the measure of angle, STR, is 103 degrees. On the back side, It says, if the two segments intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle formed is half the difference of the measure of the arc. So if we follow uh, the segments, so here I have a secant as it touches the circle twice, and here's a tangent, and they intersect here at C. C is outside the circle. Uh, tracing along this tangent as it touches the circle once, that intersects this tangent at F, which is outside the circle. And then here we have two secants, and they intersect at L, which is outside the circle. So the theorem is that it's half the difference of the measure of its intercepted arcs. Well, the intercepted arcs are the arcs that are within those two segments. So that would be AB, or I'm sorry, AD and BD. So the measure of angle 1, and I'll call this x and y, is half of x minus y. Here, um, the arc would be EHG and then EG. So I will write that out with letters because it goes from EH to G over, which actually, when the two arcs together form the whole circle. So I'm going to write that in terms of its letters. So the measure of angle 2, is that's outside the circle, is one half of the larger or the outer arc. So the measure of EHG subtract the measure of the inner arc, which is EG. And then since we're not looking at the whole circle here, I'm going to call this arc X, this arc Y. So the measure of angle 3 equals 1 half of X minus Y. So to finish up for the notes, we have four examples which we're finding X. So in the first example, um, we have X here at angle R, so tracing along this secant as it touches the circle twice. And this tangent, it goes with the arcs that are labeled of 144 and 74. So X is equal to half the difference of 140 and 74.
Subtract 140 minus 74 is 66. So half of 66 acts as equal to 33. Number two, we have two secants that intersect at point N outside the circle. Because these rays touch the circle twice. It goes with the arc of 75 and 29. So x is going to be half the difference. So subtract the two arcs divided by 2. 75 minus 29 is 46. Divide that in half. x is equal to 23. And the last two. And this one with two tangents and number three, as they only touch the circle once, because this whole arc is 232 from here to here, and the other arc goes from J to G, that makes the whole circle. So we first have to find J to G by taking 360 and subtracting the 232 to find the rest of the circle. 360 minus 232 is 128. So this is 128 degrees. So now x equals half the difference of 232 and 128. Subtracting we're gonna, means we're going to take half of 104 and x is equal to 52. And then last, what's different here is that x is not the angle. We have two secants with the two arcs given. It's just x is in a different spot. And so let's write the theorem. The angle is half of arc minus arc. And it's the large minus small. So in place of the angle, we're going to put the 41 degrees. So 41 equals half, the larger arc is 112, minus the smaller arc of x. So 41 equals distributing half of 112, well half of 100 is 50, half of 12 is 6, so 56 minus uh, 1 half x. Subtract the 56. 41 minus 56 would be a negative 15. Dividing by negative 1 half. Make sure you put that in parentheses and using the calculator. We end up with x equals 30. Once again, sorry that was broken up into two videos. But that brings us to the end of the day four notes, okay?